Okay, I think it's working. <laughs> it's like super delayed right now. Let me know if you guys can hear me though. I'm gonna move my camera up a little. Hi Brandy, good morning. Alright, so I'm a little early, so I'll wait for people to, um, you know, catch up with us, but, um, oh, make sure you're on live chat, because mine keeps switching in between. Um, hi, Ren. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Carmen. Carmen, you're new. Welcome. So, yeah, right now I'm super zoomed out, but that's because I got to fit the Blick box into the frame. <laughs> so, once we get into it and I show you the box and all the goodies, I will be zooming in because you can actually see like my shirt and my sweats right now. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. So, we'll just wait a little bit for everyone to get here. Hi, Mona. Good morning. Yes, I think it is Ren. Actually, I don't think you've ever made one. Karen! Hi, Karen. I need to fix the video settings on my tablet in front of me because, oh my goodness, it's so <laughs> blurry. Emma, hello, Emma. And Carol and Mary, good morning. Oh, and Melinda. And Sherry D. Yeah, sometimes it defaults to top chat, like on my tablet and phone it does. It's really obnoxious though, but oh well. It's a still a few minutes to morning. Okay, well it's morning for me. <laughs> but yeah, um, so like I was saying, we are super zoomed out at the moment. You're even going to catch a glimpse of my super comfy Sunday wear for a second, but... That's just because I have to fit the super huge Blick box in frame. And then after I show it to you, I'm so zooming back in. <laughs> so that we're not like catching my whole desk here. But since I'm early, I thought I would wait a little bit for everyone to get in. I always like to hop on early and say hi. And then that way we can dive in at swatching time, which will be 10 a.m. Oh, hi, Tinia, or, or is it, do you say it, Tina? I know you said it in chat the other day, how to say your name right, <laughs> so to remind me, because I don't want to get that wrong. Yes, you definitely, Mary, want to be on live chat, and then if it's showing up blurry, just adjust your um, video settings, because tablets are notorious for making it look blurry when it's not, so... <sighs> I don't know. Oh, it is Tina. Okay. Yeah, I I just want to say uh, Tinia, but I know you said in chat the other day what it was. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I know she said it was not that. So thank you. Okay, now I'll remember Tina. I usually write these things down, but I got a massive lick box in the way of my notepad. So <laughs> let me see if I can reach it. Well, how is everyone this lovely Sunday morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are? <laughs> Ooh, let's see. I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes for everyone to catch up since I like to just be super early to the game and dive in. See, it's all good. It's been pronounced all different ways. I can imagine with that spelling, you probably throughout school were constantly like, no, it's this. Emma. <laughs> okay. So Emma's saying she slept well because I woke up this morning um, at 1.45 a.m. and I could not fall back asleep. So I messaged Emma because I knew she'd be awake. <laughs> so I was like, hey, how's it going? And I never fell back asleep. So I have been up since 1.45. This will be interesting. Oh, <laughs> good thing I'm only swatching. But it, it should be fine. 
Let's see, hi Mandy. Let's see, Melissa said she burnt to a crisp this morning. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Spike, you love the uh, Blick Studio. So I was playing with them a little yesterday. I got antsy and played around. They're not they're not too shabby, but I want to swatch them. So, you know. I am doing good, Mona, other than the fact that I have been up since 1.45 this morning. <laughs> so, ooh, <laughs> we'll see. But luckily it's only 100, well, it's really 142 colors. I know the box says otherwise, but... I'm not swatching 520 today, thank goodness. Hi, Della. Hi, Tiffany and Audrey. Oh, it's 5 p.m. in Scotland, nearly tea time. Ooh, I could use some tea and coffee and all sorts of things. Well, let's see. We're close enough, so let me show you guys. Let me get this out of the way. I am going to show you guys. I know, I'm always early, Renee. It's just... It's just me. I gotta move my tablet so I can read it. Okay, the reason we're zoomed out is so that you can see this gigantic box of markers. Like, it's freaking ridiculous. I should measure it. It's, uh, oh, it's about like 13 inches long. It's huge. But this is a really nifty box. So, ugh, let me turn it over. It has a little magnetic clasp right here. And then... Ooh, yeah, it is huge. So you pop it open, and this is me zoomed out. Like, if I zoom out anymore, I'm going to be standing. <laughs> so pop it open. They have this huge foam pad that is, like, ridiculously thick, protecting your markers. So that's actually a good sign. Um, and then you have all the pretty markers just chilling here. Um, and then up here... Near the top, you have the color names and numbers. So like on the box and then a little colored sleeve it comes in, they have the same swatches, but they don't give you the numbers. Um, but still, I mean, I can't complain with the packaging, right? You can only be picky about so much here. So I'm going to do a little bit different with a swatching this go around. Uh, let me just get this foam thing out of the way so I can move this massive box over. <laughs> um, All right. So normally I swatch um, in kind of like a, you know, in a normal order. But I was playing around with these yesterday and I was like pulling them out in their three packs. I guess I can bring you guys back down now back down to my my area all right Ryan good morning okay so yeah I normally I would swatch these in color order but I noticed as I was pulling out like colors in the order they come in they're not in color order um, <laughs> so I am just going to freehand swatch them and then that way I can uh, put them in order when my Ruby Charm color book comes, which is tomorrow. I don't know how many of you ordered the Ruby Charms color or uh, the color swatch book, but I'm going to be re-swatching everything I own. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm actually going to pull this out. So I'm just swatching today on my Arteza marker paper pad. I actually like it, it's not too shabby. Um, it's nine by 12, of course, but I'm not cutting it down since I'm just gonna freehand swatch these bad boys and see what they do. Because like I said, they're not in color order. So I'm gonna have to put them in color order once I actually swatch them. So we'll see how that goes around. Uh, let's see, what's up with chat? Uh, Audrey, yeah, this would be, I'm actually going to store them in this box because my current marker storage is for my Copics. <laughs> and these won't fit unless I buy a super big thing that I have no room for. So we'll see. Let's see, Renee says, I'm doing that at the moment, but made my own swatch charts. Oh, so you, uh, you're redoing all your swatches, you mean, Renee? Oh, hi, Monet. 
Yeah, I'm, I bought the Ruby Charms one, so I'm already, already going to be redoing everything. And uh, All right, I'm just going to put you guys down a little closer. I don't want to get too close because then my hands get in the way, and it's just swatching. It's not fine art here. All right, so one thing I will tell you. Yes, I know I saw your thing the other day, Monet, with the Ruby Charm book. That was super cute. I can't wait. Mine comes tomorrow, so I'm impatient, though. I'm like, I hope that male lady comes early for once. <laughs> she won't, though. She'll show up at, like, 5. It is a good thing I like swatching. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would like to re-swatch everything, though. This is going to be rough. Okay, so when... One thing I want to address is the elephant in the room about the Blick markers. Um, that's kind of annoying me, and I don't know if anyone else who has the Blick set of 144 probably have noticed this. I know Ryan has it, so he is well aware. But um, they say clearly on the package, like, 144 colors but it's really 142 colors because they give you two colorless blenders. <laughs> and I mean, the word itself is colorless. So should we really be counting that as color? <laughs> so um, I, do, I do have some gripes about that. I'm actually going to email Blick and be like, can y'all change the wording? Cause I kind of like read that it says 144 colors um and that's kind of yeah inaccurate so when you do buy these you will get two colorless blenders and for emma's sake i will swatch a colorless blender because <laughs> we all know that she likes to see them yeah it's like the 15 packs of gelatos they they're like hey you get 15 you're like wait there's not 15 in here what the heck but so yes we have 142 colors to swatch through I'm working on no sleep, but I got a lot of water to wake me up. Huh. All right. So like I said, I'm going to just swatch a little different than I normally do because these are not in any sort of color order whatsoever um, when I was playing around with them. And I need to figure out what the heck is up with this. Um, yes, Audrey, it's just wrong. <laughs> it's just wrong. And then the numbering system... Hang on, pull the cap off. So they do have a numbering system and a name, but I cannot figure out this numbering system. I remember when Ryan did this, he was kind of like, what the heck is going on? Um, I, yeah, I don't, I like spent all last night just sitting there like, this makes no sense. So <laughs> uh, maybe Blick will fix that, make it you know a little more clear, but who cares, I guess for now. The real test is I want to see the colors. I want to see how they feel because this nib is supposed to be like the Copic. Um, it is the foam, rubber, whatever nib that the Copic has. Um, these are refillable. So that's the big thing. They're refillable and they have replacement nibs. So they're basically the closest thing on the market to a Copic Um so that's kind of interesting to try out and see because I am slowly getting my collection of Copics. Oh, just like Copic, the lid doesn't fit on the back. Well, at least they're following suit with that stupid design. <laughs> but let's get swatching and it'll be a little sloppy. Um, okay, Emma, are you watching? Because you're going to see the colorless blender in action. And I know you really care about this part. Oops, let me stay on frame. Oh my gosh, look at the colorless blender, Emma. Ooh, it is beautiful. You want me to swatch both? <laughs> okay, here you go. Both colorless blenders are indeed colorless. I know, it blows me away. I had no clue that was going to happen. So, whew, at least they were true to their name. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, hang on. Let me see what chat is saying. Um, oh, hi, Angie. Welcome. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> oh, all right. Now that we have swatched the colorless blenders, I am just going to pull in order from the box. So, um, and then like I said, I'll be putting them in order later. So I'll have this 
little cute one off to the side so you can see what color it is. This is bright green. Ooh. It's definitely green. Don't know if I would call it bright green, but whatever. All right. Um, now, oh, and I forgot to tell you guys one thing. So they don't have like a stripe, like the Copic, where it's like a clear stripe and, you know, that it's the brush nib. Instead, they got this indentation on the chisel side. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. All right. Hi, Kim. Welcome. If I forget anyone like saying hi or if you have a question and I don't answer it, Emma will put it in caps and yell at me. So don't worry. We got this. We got this. Oh my gosh, these things don't want to go back in there. Ah! Okay, well, a smart person would have taken these all out at first, apparently. All right. So who here already has the Blick brush? Not just the Blick markers, but the Blick Studio brush markers. Aside from Ryan, because I blame Ryan for me purchasing these, by the way. I'm just going to put that out there. It was Ryan's fault. All right. This is called Lime. Shoot. Every time I hear Lime, I think of that stupid song. So now this is going to be stuck in my head. Hmm. And I'll show you guys some blends I did last night. Oh. It's always nice to have someone to blame for our actions. I agree. Although Ryan did these on his channel a few months ago. It is always Ryan's fault. Um, and I had actually ordered them and then they went on back order. They just came off back order uh, in July. So I just got mine a little bit ago. And it's been killing me because they've literally just been sitting there waiting for me to swatch them. I don't think you understand how much reserve that took let's see Audrey says I don't like putting my caps on the end so that's a plus for me oh that makes sense I'm I do like it with my oh hoo hoos I'm not gonna lie but it's not like a deal breaker plus if I'm doing a color along I can just put the cap there and be like ta-da that's the color Yeah, just go shopping and blame it on Ryan. He did a video already, so I just blame Ryan for it. Okay, dark olive green. I love olive greens. They're like my go-to. All right. Ryan is a very good example of full set syndrome. <laughs> yeah. All right, why is this not in order? I might have moved that one out. Probably help if I kept it there. This one is just olive. Okay, what is this one? You're on green tomato, tomato, however you like to say it. Ooh, I like this color. It's very sage-ish. I think sage would have been better instead of green tomato, but whatever. All right. Renee is still sticking to her no buy in July. I mean, but Renee, you still have more pencils than like half of us combined here, so <laughs> it's okay. You can take a break. Actually, that one's more sagey now. Ah, shoot. Can't make up my mind. All right, green tea. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, let me grab a pen real quick. Hold that thought. Uh, 
I just need to make a star for when I moved into the next row so I can remember. Get these back in the case. All right. Audrey is blaming the Ryan for the Polish pencils. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, those are some stellar pencils. The kids in Poland are awfully spoiled, if you ask me. They got some good pencils. My kids are stuck with Crayola and, you know, what's that? What's that other brand that's cheap for kids? Shoot, I can't think of it now. Uh, oh, hi, Craftin' Mama and Shadow. Let's see, Justine is also on a no-buy for months now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Justine is on a no-buy for now, months now, but she's French and does not understand English that well. So she keeps buying. That's her excuse. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Rose Art. That's the one. That's the other one my kids get uh, for back to school shopping when Crayola is sold out or just too expensive. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even say that name. What the heck is that name? Woo! Don't even know. Okay, now we got like some blue greens, it looks like. Oh, the Elmas are here now. Yay! Let me turn it so you guys can read it. Oh, Rose Art is terrible, but, like, if I'm buying it for my kids, because, you know, you get that whole back-to-school shopping list, it's not like I'm going to send them to school with some Prismacolors or anything. <laughs> I got my limits. The expensive stuff is for me. All right. Teal green, wrong end. Ew, I love that color. That is luscious. Hey, Emma, I hate to break it to you, but your colorless blender is just dried, you know, colorless. It's kind of sad. Are these ridiculously expensive? Uh, not really. It's $345 for 142 colors and two colorless blenders. Um... That, it's really not bad if you're, I mean, this is considered a Copic competitor because they are refillable. They have the replacement nib and the nib is made like a Copic and it actually is quite bendy and smooth. So, yeah. Um, and I was doing some blends last night because I was, I was just too antsy and I had to play with them. But, I mean, if you compare the price of these to Copics, these are pretty exp or, uh, inexpensive. Now, if you're comparing these to Ohuhu, then these will totally kill your budget. But these really shouldn't be compared to Ohuhu because Ohuhu doesn't have the refillable ones. Like, it's a one and done. you got to throw it out. Let's see. <laughs> Emma doesn't believe me about her blender. I'll re-swatch the blender just for you in a minute. My swatches are going to be so messy today because I'm so tired. Ooh. Let's see. Midnight Blue. So one thing that is throwing me off is I'm so used to every other brand having like an indicator for the brush nib. So I keep going and opening the chisel nib. That's kind of screwing me up a little. Uh, I was told that you could refill the Ohuhu with touch reinker. Um, I mean, you probably could, Justine, but the nib on an Ohuhu is not like a Copic. They fray, and while they are reversible, if I'm going to go refill a marker, I'm going to refill one that has replacement nibs and the nibs I like. I like these, like the Copic nib. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Ohuhu nib, to be honest. The Ohuhu nib is just, uh, it frays easily. And I've gone through and already like reversed a few of mine. 
but technically, yeah, you probably could refill them. I haven't bothered. Just once they run out, I kind of throw them out. <laughs> I'm like, later. All right. Oh, look, this one's called Blue Ribbon, like the Tim Holtz color. Cute. Although it doesn't have the prize word in it, but whatever. Let's not get picky. Let's see, these look really nice. I'm a little mad at you right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I did leave a link in the description for anyone who wants to be enabled and go buy them. Uh, Kim asks, will the Copic nib fit the Ohuhu? No, it will not. People have tried. All right, Cerulean, Ceru I can't ever say it. And I really can't say it since I've been up since 145, so let's just be honest. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Angie. I call them like my, my peacock feather nails because I don't know really how else to describe these things. All right. Got to quit opening the chisel side. True blue. And we'll do some blending also after I swatch these out. They actually blend really well. Oh, I need to make a star that that starts the new row so I can remember. Yeah, Arteza is not cheap. I know it's like, well, originally it was supposed to be a budget pencil, but I think Arteza is trying to get away from the budget reputation. Um, but the problem is, is their product just doesn't live up to <laughs> the higher price tag. So I'm like, hmm, you guys need to make a decision here. Sorrento blue. Oh, I actually like that blue. Kim, you refill your Cali Arts with Copic ink? Yeah, I mean, technically, any alcohol marker, if the nib, you can pull out the nib and replace it with a Copic ink that's close enough to that color. But the big issue is the nib itself. Um, all those other brands don't have the same nib. Like if you were to use a Copic or a Blick um, and then compare it to like the Ohuhu nib, you would see the difference pretty quickly because like this nib is bendy. You can manipulate it. You can flick with it. You can do a fine line. Like there's a lot of things that the Ohuhu just can't do. Same with Cali Art because they're a uh, fiber or whatever. Yes, once you use a Copic, it's really hard to turn back around. I was just telling uh, Ryan the other day that my Ohuhus are used for backgrounds because, you know, I'm not wasting my ink on a background from Copic. <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, you can be my background markers. All right, make sure I'm still in order. Azure, yep. Oh, my goodness. Crafting Mama here, swatching your Arteza. I got my little Arteza marker pad I'm using. It's actually not bad paper. Stays wet long enough to manipulate it. Emma, you should buy some Copics or buy Blix. I don't know. Blix are pretty, pretty nice so far. I have to admit, the nib is quite luscious. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting yelled at. Brandy has a question. Um, I, wait, oh. Am I going to color with these anytime soon? Uh, 
yes, I will I will color with these. I just need to get them in color order. Kind of, I'm gonna put them in order like I do with my Copics, you know, by color family, and then figure out what the freak this numbering system is, if possible, because I'm like, what is this? It's like driving me bonkers. But, um, and then yeah, I'll, I'll definitely color with these. Let's see. Renee got two sets of Artezas when they were cheap. What makes me crack up about the Arteza pencils is now they have open stock, but the price per pencil in that three pack of open stock, I'm like, uh, what are we doing here, guys? Like, that's not very affordable. And I don't know, their pencils are okay, they're just not, I'd rather just get a Prismacolor. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Melinda. Uh, yeah, the pan pastel one was just kind of a... I just decided to finish the page on camera so you guys could see it. I really do like my pan pastels, though. I like them a lot. Morning dew. Ooh, keep opening the chisel side. Okay. I need to turn it a little so you guys can see it. Yeah, these are nice and bendy and ooh, so luscious. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did swatch um, the Artezas like two weeks ago, the Arteza markers with the brush nib. And their brush nib is supposedly composed of the same materials as a Copic. However, they were kind of stiff and funky feeling, whereas these... I don't know, these just feel, these definitely feel more like a Copic nib, for sure. Whereas those Artezas, a couple weeks ago, I was like, eh, I don't know about this. That was light periwinkle. Let's see, oh, hi, Carol, welcome. Uh, Jocelyne says she's only bought the Tri-Blend. The Tri-Blend markers aren't bad, though. And then I have a set of A and C of the Copic. Okay. That's actually... And then you ended up giving them away. <laughs> uh, Ryan, you wish there was a gray line. Let's see. Arctic blue. Let's see. Brandy, I would only use alcohol markers on single-sided coloring books. So, Brandy, I actually don't use markers in my coloring books. I scan and print them out on marker paper just because, like, so take Create Space paper, for example. Um, it's rough, and it soaks up the ink, and it actually breaks down your nib. So, I, I always print onto marker paper, plus... You just can't blend as beautifully and have a, as much fun with the colors when you're on certain papers that just aren't meant for marker. Erica says, as soon as the hubby's off computer, you can, or the computer, she can actually do stuff. What do you have to do today, Erica? All right, what color is this one? Niagara Falls, ooh. Oh, you don't have a working printer? Well then yeah, that would kinda kill the whole point of scanning and printing, wouldn't it? Only thing I can say is if you ever use like a marker in a Jade Summer book, that black will show through, you know, that black backing, it'll freak you out. <laughs> And then it dries, and you're like, oh, okay, never mind, we're good. So this is light cerulean blue, which should be over here with the other cerulean. This order, uh, let's see, work for you. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I'm trying to keep up with chat, guys. It moves fast sometimes. I need to see Eric, or, uh, Emma's earlier comment, but that would require scrolling up, and that's just a lot of work. 
Uh, let's see. Angie, what is the best paper to color on? Are you talking markers or colored pencils? Because the paper will totally make a difference. And then Craft and Mama, um, marker paper. Yeah, marker paper goes through my printer just fine. This is a, the one I'm using, ah, this marker paper here is just a 73 pound 120 GSM. I cut it to eight and a half by 11. Um, and then I just scan and print, and it goes through just fine. So, hi Kelly, welcome. I'm trying to read, chat, and swatch. Let's see. Ooh, Periwinkle. Funny fact, my son's name is now Periwinkle because he dyed his hair blue, and it has literally faded to Periwinkle color. <laughs> so... It's really fun to call him that and just watch him get all frustrated, but it's going to stick too, so he's periwinkle for the rest of summer. Um, let's see. Oh, hi, Sonia. Welcome, welcome. This is washed denim. Bad, not bad. Um, Melissa, my oldest daughter dyed her hair purple before the car wash yesterday. <laughs> oh, I've had purple hair. I did a lot of colors as a you know a kid, but um, I told my son if you want blue hair because he goes to the pool all the time. I'm like that is gonna fade really fast in the pool in the sun. Of course, he didn't listen to me because I'm just mom. Who cares what I say? And yeah, it is literally faded to a periwinkle color. And what makes it funnier is my nine-year-old. Because I was like, oh, what is up with your hair? It's like a purplish blue. And she goes, mom, it is periwinkle. Get it right. Okay. <laughs> you win that battle. Yeah, Angie, I have to cut it to eight and a half by 11. Um, I could technically run it through in the nine by 12 because my printer does handle a 9 by 12 but the picture, the way it's scanned, it's only meant for 8.5 by 11 anyway, so I'd be stretching it to print it or just have a ton of white space, and that's kind of pointless. So these aren't shabby. I know, I should have known my colors. Here I am, the, the one using colors all the time, and my daughter's like, hello, that's Periwinkle. And she was really snooty about it. <laughs> She's getting to that age. It's like, my dear, I enjoy your opinion, but do you have to be so mean? I had purple hair once, but it took um, so much effort to maintain because you have to use like that purple shampoo that dyes your hands and everything. And then it still fades to a really funky pink color. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh. And I think now I'm just too old to even try pulling that off. I don't know. I'm pretty sure all nine-year-olds are snooty. Nine-year-old girls, yes. But my son, when he was nine, was so much nicer and more pleasant. Although he's getting kind of snooty now, too. I'm like, listen, children. You can live in the backyard. Then my house would stay clean. Smear <laughs> yourself. Emma, I'm nice. Shush. Hi, Evelyn. Welcome. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to him being 16 or my daughter. I'm, like, terrified. I'm not going to lie. I'm terrified of all of it. All of it. Uh, Melinda, do you use the same paper for swatching as you do for your projects, or is the swatching just a color guide? No, so Melinda, I swatch on marker paper because I use marker paper, just like I swatch my watercolors on watercolor paper because I usually print my stuff onto, like, watercolor paper. So I like to swatch on the paper I plan to color on because that's going to give me the best idea of how my colors are going to look. 
Let's see. Uh, what kind of ink do you use in your printer? I printed a page out on mixed media paper so I could practice with ink tents. But when I used water, for, oh, the ink. Okay. So I have a laser printer, which means I've, I have toner. Um, so the toner doesn't bleed. But if you have an inkjet, an inkjet will bleed. Although we had this discussion a few streams ago. Apparently some manufacturers use water-based ink in their inkjets, while others do not. So you kind of have to see if there's like one that's comparable, that's not water-based, so it won't streak. But yeah, um, I use a laser, so I, I don't get the the bleeding or anything like that. Everything stays still. Sonia, I'm like collecting Copics, and then here I go and buy this whole set of Blix for I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Evelyn, oh, Epson has ink that's waterproof. That's good to know then. Yeah, so the Epson brand... You can get the waterproof ink from them if you like ink jets. Uh, it's a lot of work. Oh, I need to go to the top. No problem, Rebecca. I mean, yeah, you can always check and see if there's waterproof inks. Now, some manufacturers aren't super, like, open with um, their formulas. So you might have to, like, email them and be like, hey, what's this made with? Oh, my goodness. Gray lavender. Oh, yes. I want to see this. Uh, Sonia, I need to buy a printer and will prefer laser since toner is better than ink. Yeah, um... It's kind of how I, I look at it. I've Even before I started printing my own coloring pages, I always did the, the laser anyway, but it was handy so things wouldn't bleed. Got to make sure I'm staying in order on these. Okay, so now we're on to the lavender pink. Let's see. Once mine runs out of toner, I'm going to replace it because it's a few years old and it's actually getting ridiculous to buy the toner cartridges for this one. Plus, I want one with a scanner built in so I can quit using my phone. All right. Ooh, bubble gum. I want to see this color. Let's see what bubble gum looks like. Look at that nib. It's like freaking neon. <laughs> that is some bright... Bright ink, ooh. Um, check out Brother or Canon laser printers. Yeah, I have a Brother right now. Um, the new model of the Brother I have, you can get with a scanner and it's not too shabby. It's not too badly priced. I'll probably wait till like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, because that's how I got my last one and I got it really cheap. All right, this color is 134. I'm really liking the pinks though they have in here. This is white gardenia. And I do like that they have a very light color. So that's one thing I love about Copics is the really light colors. Vanilla. Oops, again with a chisel. By the end of the 142 colors, I will remember which direction to do this in. Wow, those are like really close. <laughs> um, mm. It could be the fact that I'm super tired, but those are, yeah, that one's a little darker, I guess, but wow, that's awfully close. Okay, 
all the way on now. Yeah, they have a really pretty, and these are like vintage-y pinks too, so I kind of, I'm digging that. Love me some vintage colors. That's a really pretty one too. All right, let me get this. Did Sonia ask a question that I didn't answer? Because <laughs> I miss things sometimes. But Emma yells at me usually, so. Pink Pearl. Ooh. I like that one. I really like that one. So at first when I got these, because they come in these little mini rows of three, I thought maybe those rows ugh, were like a blending order, but they definitely are not. So pink champagne. Hmm. What, my X's? Oh, these X's? Um... Because these are in rows inside the bit, the bic, um, inside the, inside the Blick case they come in, they're in rows. So I'm marking each time I start a new row just so I remember where I'm at because normally I would have a swatch chart and I'd be swatching on that chart. But when I was playing with these last night, I realized these are not in color family order. And so I was going to have to put them in order. So I didn't want to go through the hassle of making an entire chart and then turning right back around and having to do it all over. Um, so that is why. Okay, carnation pink. So yeah, I'm just leaving a little X so I remember that that starts the new row, which reminds me I need to put an X here. Yeah, I thought they would be blending sets because that would make sense, but apparently that's not what they are. Because, for example, where this X is, we're starting a new set of um, a set of three, and so you, these are the three colors that are in that little mini row of three, and that is not a blending set. <laughs> <laughs> so they definitely didn't, uh, that's not what their intention was when they put those in the box, clearly. All right, make sure I'm on the right one. Dusty Rose. Yeah, it's not making sense. I still don't get this numbering system. I'm, I'm like, what is this? Now we're on to 100s. We have 500s, but they don't have 500 pencil, or not pencils, markers. So I was like trying to decipher, okay, does the five mean this? Does the one mean this? And then by the end of it, I was like, you know what? Okay, whatever. I'm done trying to figure out this, this numbering system. In fact, Ryan, did you ever figure out what the heck the numbering system was? Oh, again, with that chisel end. Because the numbering system is really weird. Hi, Katrina. Welcome, welcome. Let's see, so right now I'm starting another set. Flamingo pink, electric pink. Ooh, that's definitely electric. Oh, Ryan already has them in swatch order. Yeah. You should have sent me that last night. <laughs> Could have totally used that today. Yeah, we can work on it together because these definitely need to be put in order. I'm like, what is going on here, Blick? Who made this order and who made this numbering system? What up with this? I wonder if they were just like, hey guys, we're going to throw these in the box and just see if we can really screw with everyone. 
<laughs> so pretty sure that was their motive. Strawberry red. It's a very luscious red. I like that. Okay. All right, watermelon. Ugh. I will tell you the caps on these. Oh, interesting, this pops off. Um, the caps on these are not like the Arteza ones where they practically just fall off. Um, <laughs> these are definitely stiffer, but that's a good thing. I mean, the Copics are the worst to yank off. That did not sound right. Uh, watermelon, watermelon. Okay, so magenta is next. Let's see, Evelyn, my ohuhu took me longer to sort by color family. So there was actually a chart, Evelyn, on Etsy, a gal sells um, that puts them all in perfect color family order. And I just bought it because I was way too lazy to try and sort all of those, especially once the pastels came out. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Someone else can do this. Magenta. So we're starting this row. Um, his second channel. I bet you Melissa can link it uh, for his, his two channels. Oh no, I'm sorry, Crafton Mama. Very Berry is the name of this color. Oh, that is a very, very pretty color, actually. I like that. Okay, open the right end. So now we're on to Honeysuckle. Wait, is honeysuckle red? I could be losing it, but I didn't think honeysuckle was like a red-violet color. Hmm. Yeah, I thought honeysuckle was a yellow. I mean, we had them growing up, and I'm pretty sure they were yellow. <laughs> Well, to Blick, Honeysuckle is this lovely red color here. So, now we're on to Wine. That's looking good, actually. It's kind of a brownish, but whatever. A brownish, purplish thing. Okay, so I need to make another X. Uh, a family chart for the luminance, Jocelyn. Um, da, da, da. Color and Chat with Sammy actually put them in color family order. It's on one of her videos. She offers it for free, a swatch chart with them all in order. Um, and then Karen has her conversion chart, too, that she just made a video for. If you want to link your video for your conversion chart, Karen, you can, since you have a mod thingy. A wrenchy. Markers do take practice. That's why I told Ryan, I was like, can you color more with markers so we can all learn the ways? Because he's very, very talented with markers. He'll show you a picture and you're like, that's not a marker. And you're like, oh no, it is. I just suck at markers. Let's see. Uh, Renee says in Canada, the wild honeysuckles are orangish color and red when they come up from the plant. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we're we're doing that. Let's see. We're on to spice. It is a brown color. That one kind of scratched on my paper, but that could be my paper. Yep, 
Yes, please be our marker Yoda, Ryan. Please. I said please, and I don't say please often. Alright. We're on to Sienna. Oh, I got a hair on my page for my dog, probably. Uh, Evelyn, I just did my first two picks with markers. Oh, watching color. Oh, um, Belinda, coloring Faith Girl. Yeah, she does a lot of marker stuff, actually. Yep, Ryan's going to be doing all markers next month, so I can binge watch. And he has the Blix and the Copics because, you know, someone went and bought all the Copics on eBay in one full set. Here I am, all responsible for once, buying them just a few at a time. Poppy Red. So Ryan, with your markers, are you going to do mostly Blick or are you going to use some Copics? Copics, Copics! <laughs> Hang on, drink of water. Hi Luna, welcome! Alright, we're on to orange. That is definitely orange. I'll give you that, Blick. These are luscious, though. No worries, Audrey. Thanks for coming. All right. Yay, Copics! Woohoo! I just want to learn how to use the freaking Copics I got. All right, burnt orange. There's so many tricks to using markers. So many. I know, Ryan, you made a record though, doing all the pages you did this month. So imagine if you do a whole month of markers, how many pages you're going to color. You're gonna like double your production there. Well, I don't know, you're back at the bakery, so that might kill it a little. <laughs> But real life comes first. My work, my marker work needs help. It needs lots of work. I'm getting better at the blending though. But I will say these Blick markers blend things that should not blend. Like I was blending some funky colors and they were blending together. So I was like, what on earth? <laughs> Let's see, Evelyn, I got the Ohuhus because they were on sale during Prime and I didn't want to spend the money on Copics if you weren't good at markers. Um, did you buy that 216 set? I think that was part of the uh, the Prime Day, wasn't it? The 216? Or did a bunch of people just buy the 216 around that time? And then Luna, problem with Blick for me is I'm Canadian. Oh yeah, the exchange rate and shipping would be pretty rough. I agree, actually. Um, you're not wrong there. Plus this uh, skin tone set. Oh, okay. So here is the thing with markers. So I started with Cali Art markers. Um... I did not like them. I gave them to my daughter. And then I bought Ohuhu because that was my first experience with a brush marker. And I really liked the brush nib. That's when I realized I don't want bullet and chisel. I want a brush nib. But um, I kept having trouble like controlling the nib and layering with the Ohuhu. I was just, I was struggling. Like I wasn't doing very well with my markers at all. And so when I first bought my first 10 of Copics and I went to go use those, I was like, oh, okay, 
I'm totally screwed now, but um, <laughs> yeah, the, the Copics definitely, the nib on a Copic and the way they've balanced their colors makes a pretty big difference, which sucks because they're not cheap. You like the peachy color, this one down here. Oops, down here, <laughs> I'm on the on screen. Now we're on to soft coral. And my hands are all shaky, no sleep. Like I'm all like all over the place. Uh, let's see. Things that require water, not my friend. <laughs> I actually do enjoy watercolors, so love, love, love. Coral is your favorite color, Luna. It is a pretty color. It's hard to find a good coral in like pencils or markers at times. Tangerine. It's kind of flat for a tangerine. Um, so I did find a new place to buy Copics. Uh, crap, I can't remember the name of it now. Ah! Um, they sell their Copic sketch for like, I think it was like $4 a Copic sketch. It was something ridiculous. <laughs> um, so instead of 10 this month, I bought 13 because I was way under budget because Blick is like $5.97. Yeah, Erica link it because I, I told Erica about it. It's like this mom and daughter uh, scrapbooking store, and they are freaky cheap. Um, I even tested the markers just to make sure they were new and there was no issues, and they were. And they ship so fast. Like, my order came super quick, and we all know what it's like to order from Blick sometimes. <laughs> it's like, do-do-do, do-do-do. But yeah, if you want to collect Copics, yeah, Cozy Scrapbooking, that's what it is. They were incredibly cheap. Wasn't it like $4 a sketch? I, I just about fainted when I saw their pricing. That's all I remember. Ooh, these would be good for skin tones. Not that I do a lot of portraits with markers. Uh, let's see. Renee... You got the 72 set of ink tents and you're trying to learn with them. Just use your colorless blenders, Renee. I've got two now, two that I can refill. Woohoo! But I think it makes it easier. All right. Let's see. Amazon had a cop or had Copics on sale in September and I bought a 72 set. It worked out. Yeah, I mean, when you buy them in big sets, they're always cheaper. But, like, right now, I can't buy my Copics in those sets. You know, the A, B, C, D, and E, or whatever. I can't do that because I have some that are within those sets. So I'm basically stuck open stock buying. Or I could go buy that 72 count set, but then I would have to sell my spares or something. Um, and it's just not worth it. So... I've been kind of hunting for cheap places to get open stock um, Copics instead. Yes, Luna, there's a ridiculous number of art supplies. Just when you think you're done, more are found. It just doesn't stop. Whether it's markers, pencils, watercolors, I mean, it's just never anything. Yeah, that one site does run out of their markers quick, but if you just keep checking, they restock pretty fast. But that's because they also sell in packs on their Etsy store. They sell like 10 packs, so they sell out pretty fast. Oh, hi, Melissa. Welcome. All right, Canary Yellow. What is up with this color order? I think 
Lick wanted to screw with me today. Uh, Sherry, we'll have to see if they sell the Copic refills at Cozy's. I can't remember if they do or not. Um, I didn't even look. <laughs> uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Luna wants to try gouache. I actually want to try gouache really bad. Um, but I'm like trying to pace myself on what I buy. Because half the stuff I buy, I never end up using because I'm so busy doing other things. So it's like, ugh. I need to start using all this crap that I've been collecting. Uh, Rebecca. Let's see. If I use the colorless blender, does it make them like alcohol markers where they bleed through the other side? No, Rebecca, so if you use ink tents on even a coloring book page and you use the colorless blender, it won't bleed through. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. You're not like, uh, you know, saturating it to the point. And it's not like an alcohol marker. It's not like me using this on the page. You're just using it to wet the ink and it evaporates super quick. Honey yellow, that's a pretty color, actually. Let's see. Making sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's not refills on that site. Wouldn't surprise me, but you can go buy the refills at Blick. They're not that expensive, and... Um, I mean, the refill is not a one-and-done thing. It lasts you for a little bit, and you really don't go through ink as fast as you think with a marker. At least I don't. Especially if you use, like, a marker paper that's not going to sit there and suck up all your ink. Melissa's not going back to water after using a colorless blender. <laughs> uh... Uh, water control with ink tents is really rough. Um, it actually turned me off from my ink tents for a very, very long time because it's like, I can't do this. And then it took some practice and I got used to it. But the alcohol is just so much easier to deal with. Less hassle, less mess. Oh, I got to scoot in my super loud chair, so excuse the noise. Luna, I like the Ohuhu marker paper. I haven't tried the Ohuhu one. I'm on to lemon. I'm actually using the Arteza one because it was on sale one day, so I just decided to try it. But it's not too shabby. Very smooth. It stays wet, so you don't have to worry about moving super quick. Oh, hi, Sonnet. Welcome. All right, we're on straw yellow. The Ohu marker pads are 110. That's good to know, 110 pound. Yeah, this one's only 73. But what's the GSM? Because really the GSM is what is important. The poundage is kind of like a secondary. If I can open these right. Oh, hoo hoo gel pens. I have honestly not tried. I will be on. Um, I keep meaning to, but I just haven't gotten around to it. That color's called silk. That's like a, a pinkish lid. Hmm. Weird. Even the nib is pink. Maybe when it dries, it'll change up. Okay, shortbread. Um. Evelyn got marker in one of her art boxes, so she'll have to try it out. Oh, speaking of art boxes, everyone. So I signed up for Scrawler Box. Um, I did get some of their boxes on clearance from last year, but my actual shipment doesn't come um, until August for my box. But I'm looking for a second subscription. So... 
the the three I'm between for using is Art Snacks, Upcrate, and Smart Art. So I'm curious if anyone has tried any of those three and what your thoughts are, because I do want to add um, a second one in, and those are the three I'm kind of debating between. So let me know if you've tried any of those. Dogwood. Of course, I had something on my paper and I just picked it up on my nib. Ah. Ooh. Yes, grams per square meter is what GSM is. Because a paper can have a certain poundage, um, but the GSM can vary between the brands, especially with watercolor paper. That's a big one that gets screwed up all the time. They're 200 GSM. That is a really thick marker paper. Is it smooth? Like a, a smooth surface? It seems almost like a cardstock. Right, honey butter. This one's called honey butter. Let's see, Evelyn has art snacks, palette full, and sketch box. You like the art snacks best. Uh, so art snacks, correct me if I'm wrong, they do the full size um, goodies. I did see palette full, but I forget why I, I decided not to put that in my list of options. This one's called honey butter. <laughs> uh, let's see what word of that. Let's see, taupe. Yeah, I can't remember why I um, crossed palletful off the list. There was a reason, and now it's not coming to me, but um, that's good to know you like the art snacks, because that's one I was thinking of. I don't know if anyone saw Color with Claire. She did an upcrate one this morning. Like she did some upcrate um, challenges. And she was saying that she was kind of like frustrated with the, the mediums they sent. She's like, this isn't even a galaxy palette. And the challenge was to make a galaxy. <laughs> Let's see, Evelyn, I did scroller box for three months, had trouble getting the shipments, always a month late. Yeah, because it comes from the UK. I did notice that, uh, so it'll be pretty late when I get mine, I'm sure. Um, oh, that's right. That's why I didn't do palette because most of it was painting, and I wanted to do like something that would do drawing, sketching, coloring, and painting. I, I want to do them all as opposed to just one or the other. That's why I didn't do sketchbox, because it's just straight up sketching. I'm not going to get like watercolors in there. Let's see, Artful. I haven't heard of the Artful one. I'll have to write that down on my list over here. It didn't come up when I was looking for them. But I did see the Color Cave used it. All right, that was Stone. Oh my gosh, let's hope I don't fall asleep during this. Yeah, the Sketchbox does have paint, paints, inks, and all that, but, um, oops. Lately, I've been told they're moving away from that, so you're not going to get them as frequently, like, with the others, where you're definitely going to get paints, markers, um, I mean, I got some scrawler box ones that showed up, my, like, the old ones I got on clearance just to try them, and they had, like, oil paints in there that I'm going to have to figure out how to use. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Emma, it might be UK. Each month is themed. They had inks month and watercolor month. Oh, okay. I'll have to look and see in the artful one. And then Evelyn says, I may drop the palette full, not because of quality. It's just you don't need more paint. Uh, 
Yeah, I wanted something that was like variety. So not just paint, not just sketching. Like I want, I want like watercolors and all that. Let me mark this one for another row. Which one's the muted color? Yeah, don't fall, <laughs> pull a Ryan and fall asleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryan, I won't leave a comment about waking up and you being a paramedic or anything, so it's okay. Oh, I like that one, actually. That's a pretty nice one. Hmm. see two above my current so this one here um luna is the muted color Let's see, which is oh i gotta move backwards i think that one was um oh this one here is called antique white so that would probably be why latte i could use one of those Interesting color. It's really close to that one. Um, Evelyn, Sketchbox and Art Snacks. I've gotten a number of Copics and Lumis. I like Art Snacks because they give full size paper. Yeah, I'd see, I had read that Art Snacks gives full size, like, because Scrawlerbox sent me, like, the dinkiest little um, thing of paper to use for their that box that I had gotten. I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to draw on this how now? <laughs> I'm like, hmm, okay. But, um, scroller box is pretty affordable. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I tried it. Hi, Donna, welcome. It's all right, Ryan, that you dozed off. I fell asleep last night at 8.30. The one night I had the house to myself, right? And I should be staying up late doing whatever I want. But no, I passed out watching TV at 8.30. And then I woke up at 1.45 and I could not fall back asleep. <laughs> so I have been up since then. But it was nice because I messaged Emma because it's a normal hour for her. And I was like, hey, how's it going? What you doing? <laughs> Ooh, that is, this is called antique. I would have called this artichoke because this is so artichokey. Let's see, art snacks. I've gotten some really nice black fine liner sets from, oh, that's good to know, Evelyn, actually. Uh, <laughs> Luna, oh no, don't get divorced. <laughs> don't get it divorced for the boxes. Yes, Emma and I had a good long chat <laughs> this morning. <laughs> like, what you doing? How's it going? I'm just going to sit here and bug you because I know you're awake. Could not fall back asleep though. I tried so much, but yeah, it was not happening. Yeah, it would be a nice wood color, actually. I agree with that. I love fine liners too, so I could use some new um, sets of black fine liners. Like the arts, uh, not art snacks, the scroller boxes I just got have like one fine liner in each. And I'm still going to do the challenges, even though they're, like, not applicable right now. I'm just doing them for myself um, and test them out. But one looks really cool. It's like a bunch of acrylic paints you get to mix together because they basically just sent you primary colors. Oh, Tammy. Oh, I could have totally harassed Tammy this morning. I always forget. She would have definitely been awake. I 
mean, I'm always up early, but this was a lot earlier than I've ever been up or want to wake up, but oh well, it happens. Do I like this color? It's very rich. I really need to get a world clock. I'm just, it's like an app download. I don't know why I haven't done it, but I'm like, ah, whatever. Hmm. Sepia. Not bad. Okay, so now we're getting to the really boring part because these are gonna be all grays. <laughs> like, all grays. So hang on to your hats for the two rows of gray colors. This one is basic gray number one. Um, Melissa, I had to vacuum and came hearing subscription boxes. I don't think we've really decided what the best one is. We've just kind of been asking everyone what they've been using. Like I I did sign up for Scrawler Box. So I'll get the August box, probably like the end of August. Um but I was debating between Art Snacks, Upcrate, and Smart Art for my next one. Cause I want to do two a month to test them out. Recommend art snacks. We'll definitely take a look at that one and see. Um, see, yeah, I do want to try to see what those are about. Basic gray. Hmm. Let's see. Luna says, I love painting, so palette would probably be the best for me. Yeah, I wanted just one that did everything, like a, a, a big variety. I didn't want to be like pigeonholed into one type of art. I want to just kind of try everything. Plus, you get to try different supplies that you would normally wouldn't buy on your own. Like one of my scrawler boxes came with these markers that I'd never even heard of. <laughs> but I'm like, all right, let's try this. So I just want to get exposed to things out there. Of course, that could be dangerous because then I'll go and buy them, but... That's a whole other problem. Well, at least they have their grays in order. While everything else is like, I don't know what this is, but real fast. Okay, so this numbering system is annoying me. Okay, so we have basic gray five and four and three basic gray five is 82 but four and three are in numerical order mm, i don't know this is gonna drive me nuts i think we have to email blick and be like so what is this what what do these numbers mean or do they mean nothing and you guys just wanted to screw with us like huh. Let's see, Evelyn, you would recommend Sketchbox after Art Snacks? How often does Sketchbox um, send paints? And by paints, I mean like watercolors and stuff like that. That's one thing I'm curious about. And I agree, Luna, there's way too many options, which is why I was like, you know what? I'm going to just ask while I'm streaming. See what everyone's using. Hmm. Let's see. In Palettful two months ago, I got some really interesting watercolors. Uh, they were card with watercolors on them. Oh, so you got like the, the dots, Evelyn, the watercolor dots. If I'm thinking of what you're thinking. 
the dot cards, I think they're called. Oh my gosh, this marker does not want to come out. Cool gray, wrong end again. Cool gray 23. Hmm. So basic gray is not really a warm gray because they have a warm gray. But then they have cool grays. Yeah, okay, I'll figure that out later after I swatch. Cool gray, 10%. Cool gray, 20. Somehow I got out of order. There we go, okay, cool gray, 20. See, I got a Winsor Newton um, 12 color watercolor set from Sketchbox. Does Sketchbox do full size or just the mini sample sizes like like Scrawler Box where you get a dinky little thing of paper and that's it? Because I want like full size pads and everything. Cool gray 30. Oops. Stay. See, oh, Luna, you like the box that they come in? It is a pretty sturdy box, although this Blick box is is very sturdy, actually. I'm going to store them in here. <laughs> um, these aren't going anywhere. And then it's perfect because I can bring it with me, like, into the living room or whatnot, and they're all right there next to me. So they did, ugh, again with the chisel, they did think out the box pretty well, or the packaging, I should say. Uh, not dots. They were like paint chip cards. Oh, okay. Let's see, Sonnet, if you want to invest in one good pencil set, which set would you choose? That's a really hard one to say, Sonnet, because everyone is so different um, with like what they consider, well, one, what they consider to be good in general. <laughs> um... You could get like a general consent consensus from everyone, but um, like what I think is the best pencil, not everyone, you know, would agree and vice versa. So that one's kind of hard to, to answer. Plus, like, are you are you talking like um, an artist grade or and also do you want wax or oil based? Because um, that will kind of help narrow it down. Oops. Okay, um, I was trying to catch up on everything else. Ooh, Luna, I like you. She said Prismacolor. She's on my good list. I mean, yes, I do love Prismacolor. They're awesome wax pencil, and they work with my coloring style, but they don't work for everyone. Um, I mean, I argue that... Prismacolor is actually pretty budget friendly, <laughs> but that's just me. Especially when you look at the open stock price of the lovely Prismacolor. Oh my gosh, this one does not want to come out. All right. Artist grade wax. Well, I would say Prismacolor then. Um, I like Prismacolors, but again, they're not for everyone. So I would buy either like a 12 pack or some open stock and just try them out first. I wouldn't go buy any luminance though um, until you're ready to deal with that because that's expensive. Yeah, Luna, I do think, oh, I need my X. Um, I do think Prismas are actually a really good value. Plus, you can buy them open stock, so cheap. I mean, you can even get them at your local craft stores, um, but also you can buy them on Blick for really cheap, too. 
like a dollar twelve if you buy and you can mix and match colors you just have to buy 12 open stock at once it help if I put that down okay so this is warm gray it's not really a warm gray to me maybe it'll be better when they evaporate a little or maybe I'm just not seeing straight because I've been up so late. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons here. Yes, I do find Prismas very easy to work with. Um, they smush, they layer. Like So if you like to layer, you can layer. But if you like to just blend and burnish, they are totally good for that too. So... But not everyone likes Prismacolors, so got to keep that in mind, too. Um, let's see. Yes, Prisma shades very nicely, Angie. And then, let's see. Sonnet. Oh, you have to check and see if you get Prisma's open stock in South Africa. Yeah, I would definitely check on that first. Although you might you might hit the open stock snag with any brand, um, depending I guess. And then Justine says I have Prismas and Luminance. Got rid of everything else, but if you like to layer, try Polys. Luminance are very expensive. Yeah, Prismas are easier, but like I said, it's a really hard question because people always ask if I'm. Like, what's the best pencil? And I'm like, well, I can't really answer that for you. <laughs> like, do you do heavy pressure? But then is your heavy pressure like my heavy pressure? Because my idea of heavy pressure might not match your idea. Like, there's just so many factors that play into it that's like, ah, I'll give you some ideas, but you're, you might have to try some small sets and see how they work for you. And then it also depends on the paper you plan to use them on because paper really does matter with a pencil. Yeah, I'm the same way, Luna. I'm not really um, the layering type whatsoever. <laughs> if it can be smushed together, it will be smushed together. Like, that's just how I work. Let's see. Um, oh, just Lane can't find Luminance open stock. That's a bummer. Evelyn, Black Widows are not a Backwex base pencil. Um, not sure. I, I know that's probably just a typo, <laughs> but, um, my only thing with Black Widows is they're really, yeah, okay, bad. There we go. Like I said, I've been up since 145, so a typo I can't decipher very quickly today. Um, my only thing with Black Widows is they're really hard. Like, because when I'm comparing to them, like, wax-based, like, Prismas, Black Widows are a lot harder. And then they're coming out with that new set of Black Widows. I don't even know what the heck they're going to add to that. Kind of figured that last set balanced it out, but they're like, no, we're gonna add more. So I'm like, well, what are you adding? Yeah, Karen, so with the Black Widows, I've been using them for hair lately, and they're stellar for hair, but that's because they really hold their point. But if you are heavy handed and you wanna kind of just smush things together, you might find your Black Widows a little frustrating, or I do at least. But they do work really well for hair. I am currently working on two things, uh, two pictures, which are two hair tutorials using Black Widows. And they hold their point so well. Wow, this is a funky black. It's definitely a warm black. But yeah, they hold their, um, their tips really well so you don't have to keep sharpening. So I'll give them that. Okay, and then this one's black. Use your Amazon basics for hair. 
I haven't honestly tried them for hair. I mean, they're soft, but they're not as soft as a Prisma, so they'll hold their point. Hmm. But like I'm doing this one, I'm currently filming this one. But this is Black Widow's for this light pink hair that I'm doing here. So uh, this should be up on the channel next week. But it's, yeah, it's Black Widow's and they, they do great for hair. Especially bubblegum hair. And then I think I have my other one sitting right here too, all ready to go. But um, this red hair here, ignore her eyebrows. I'm erasing those because they're ugly. But um, yeah, this is Black Widow's, this red hair. So I'll be doing that on this side. Uh, let's see. Oh, welcome back, Audrey. Let's see, Evelyn loves her Holbeins. <laughs> Karen. She loves her whole buns. It's okay if we disagree. It's fine. I don't judge anyone who likes whole buns. I only judge when they start saying you're a colorist or something snarky. Then I get mean. <laughs> so it's all good. Let's see. Sonia, I wish the Black Widows were better in price because they're not a budget pencil. And for the way they perform, it's kind of like, uh, you guys should really work on these pricing. But whatever. But if you're going to try Holbein's, just try a small set um, because they are stupid expensive. Oh, thank you guys about the hair. I will have those videos up very soon. Okay, so we have swatched all 142, I want to emphasize that, <laughs> colors. Plus the two colorless blenders were swatched here for Emma's sake because Emma must see the colorless blender in action. That's just an agreement um <laughs> but so far these colors aren't bad yeah it's 142 but the box does say 144 colors so that really annoys me <laughs> but and i don't know why they give you two colorless blenders um that just seems kind of hmm. but yeah as you can see the color like order is kind of wonky um, so I definitely want to put these in a better color order. That's why I just freehand swatched them. And then that way I can kind of play around with it. Apparently Ryan already has a chart, so he can share that with me. And maybe we can kind of work together to fix this and put them in actual color family order. Because, like, I don't even know what the heck that is. But these purples are freaky alike. And it could just be because I'm tired, but they seem really alike to me. Double colorless blender, so Emma gets double joy. <laughs> it's so true. She makes me swatch them. Um, let's see, Evelyn. There is a reason there are so many different pencils available. Everyone has different opinions and colors differently. Yeah, that's why I just always tell people, um, you know, try things out and see what you think. I'm going to look at these real quick, these purples. I'm pretty sure it's these two, purple and violet. Um, let's grab my sw little swatch paper real quick. So on the swatch chart, they look really, oh, oh, this one's darker. But once they dried on my swatch chart, so, this one is just a teensy darker than that one, but those are, they could have like put something different in there, to be honest. Um, but whatever, I guess. All right, so violet, purple. Okay, so I did do some blending last night. Ignore these, see how I wrote, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually went to make the swatch chart last night and then I was so tired um, that I just started doodling and then I started playing with the markers so it was kind of ridiculous this is just all over the place but we'll do some blending on a clean piece of paper um, oh good night Summit or good day or good evening whatever time it is there 
Yeah, the one of them has a little more blue in it, one of the purples, but so I was playing around and combining these last night. And so like this one here, I took a very light green and a really dark green and they actually blended together really well. I mean, it does take layers. Uh, these ones I didn't layer because I was lazy and that's why you're just like, hello to the lines there. Um, this was me just pulling them out and going, okay, these are definitely not um, in order because <laughs> I was watching them. But yeah, it blended really well. You don't see the line. And then I was blending like these funky different blues with different values. Like that's a blue green, that's a blue violet, and then that's a blue. And it still blended together like flawlessly. So let me get some like paper and we can do a couple blends. Ugh. Let's see. Uh, Liam says, looks like the one on the right is a little bluer to me. Oh, yeah. And then... Let me smack my camera with my pad. Okay. Just get my one thing under so I don't see my mat as much. Although, let me check and see. Maybe. Yeah, they don't, uh, I mean, they definitely show through on the back of this paper, but it is pretty thin one. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. Mel uh, Melinda, definitely get some rest. Hopefully your surgery goes well. All right. So let's blend and play with some colors. So let me get my chart off to the side here. <clears throat> you know, what's funny is Ryan, um, I cringe when Ryan uses a blender pencil and Ryan's probably going to cringe as I'm blending markers. So this will be fun. I'm going to try these ones here. Not blending, just putting the color down <laughs> so you can see the color first. And make sure. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I am kind of a rule breaker when it comes to markers. I go dark to light. I'm gonna leave the caps off though. Oh, see, then I'm doing it right. Thanks, Ryan. Okay, see, so see how easily these blend together, though? And they do really well when you're like buffing out your lines. It just picks up the ink and like redistributes it really well, which I appreciate. But see, it just blended right out. So that wasn't too bad. Okay, so that was, um, let's see, that was Merlot. Orchid pink and amaranth pink. That's a pretty color blend, actually. Hey, Ryan, if you're looking for a color blend, I got one for you. Yee! All right, let me put the caps back on these, and we'll try a couple others. Got to play with our markers. We can't just sit here and swatch them. All right. What colors do we want to blend next? Oh my gosh, this one will not go in there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, putting them back in this case can be rather obnoxious. No, oh, thanks, Ryan. I should probably write down these numbers though. <laughs> All right, Merlot. That's Merlot. Amaranth, I'm totally spelling that wrong, but whatever, don't judge. And Orchid just so I can remember what the heck that was. Okay, so let's try 
I'm going to try something else. I want to do some oranges. So let me see, because their oranges are all sorts of funky up in here. Um, okay, so that one starts there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, actually, I want to do these corals first. I lied. I want to do this one and this one. And, okay, so that one needs to go there, that one needs to go there, and that one needs to go there. Yeah. Okay, so that is coral, uh, salmon, Yeah, I'm just in the mood for pinks and purples. I don't know. I'll blend some blues and stuff too. Uh, peach blush. Let's see, Audrey. I swatched my Ryan enabled Artify markers. <laughs> That's what we should just name all products. Ryan enabled I bought these Ryan enabled brute fooders. I'm going to delete the lids off while I'm doing this. Sorry for the clanking. I'm using my new Tim Holtz glass mat and it is quite loud. But oh my gosh, I love it. It just cleans right up, so. This one I might do a third layer just to help buff it out. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan. Yeah, see, like if you just sit there and buff it out, the colors blend together really well with these markers. Because I was playing with some freaky colors last night, and I'm like, what is going on? Okay, so I just need to remember that peach goes here. Okay, so that was coral, salmon. I gotta put the right lid on the right marker, and peach. Blush. I mean, this was a little harsher, but I could have probably done another layer and buffed it out, but still a very pretty color. Let's try some blues. All right. So this one starts here. So let's try true blue. And I need like an in-betweener. Okay, let's try bright blue so weird the caps are so off on these markers and then I need to go one two three and try this one okay so supposedly let's see okay that might not be all right so that one's true blue This is true. Oh, I need to swap these around. So that's going to swap that way. Okay. Bright blue. A single layer of your lightest for the harsher blends. You know, I knew that in my head, but my brain is not with me today. All right, and this one's Horizon. We will do a single layer of the lighter color. Nope, I can't color that way. It's just not in my blood. Okay, I hope I got these in the right order. Otherwise, this is gonna get really messy really fast. Now, I will admit I'm not the best blue blender, but whatever, we're just gonna make it happen.
Wow, that glass mat is really loud. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but for me, I'm like, ee. Yeah, purples and me do not get along whatsoever. But I have noticed with these blicks, if you just sit here and do a little circular thing, they buff out a lot better. Because that's how I got my green to go down yesterday. I just sat there and buffed it out, basically. All right, don't ask me what order those went in in the case. I'll just leave them out for now. But yeah, me and purples don't get along. I can never do a purple blend to save my life. Let's let's try one just for for embarrassment. Uh, let's see. Oh, for some reason it blocked Audrey's comment. I'm not surprised you're not yourself being up at a stupid old clock. <laughs> uh, and I, I only could do one cup of coffee today because if I do more than that, my body will be really mad. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna try. I really wanna do that one, which I think is lilac. Oh my gosh, this purple is gonna turn out ugly. We're gonna do it. Um, okay, that one. And then I need... This set doesn't have like a genuine light purple. I guess it's got this one though. So let's try that one. That's two, three, four. All right. Let's try blending purples because I just like to torture myself. So that is violet. Mm. This one might be rough. This is totally going to be rough. <laughs> Look at that jump. Ooh. All right. I think the reason most purples are so hard is just nobody has like a good purple selection. Oh, hi, Lori. Good morning. Those ones look really close when they're wet, but when they're dry, they are definitely different. So we're just gonna let it happen. That one is gray lavender. Does anyone else like automatically use an A in their lavender or am I the only one? I'm probably the only one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just get the lids off these now. Wrong lid. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I have to save my life, so this is probably not going to be pretty, but whatever. That's why Ryan's going to do alcohol markers all month and teach us the, the ways of the marker. I'm so sloppy right now. Look at that. Look at that slop. Oh, wait a minute. I might actually blend this out. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. I don't want to be too confident. But I think it's going to blend out. This one's going to take a while to dry. <laughs> Thanks, Luna. <laughs> hey, it blended. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. It's super wet though. Let's wait till it evaporates and then see what we really made in there. Uh, you have the Blick pencils, Lori. You know, I haven't bought those yet because I've, I've had so many mixed reviews on them that I'm just like, uh, I don't think I can commit to those. But I think I finally blended a purple. I can't even do that with my Copics right now. That could be total user error, though, so let's not blame the Copic. Okay, I'm going to blend a green. Definitely want to do a green, because a green would be fun, and there are so many freaking greens. Buy the singles. Yeah, I might buy the singles of those Blick ones, but I don't know. It's been so many mixed reviews on those. 
Like some people rave about them and then other people are like, these things are crap. I'm like, someone just tell me. Yeah, it actually blended, Ryan. I'm so happy. I'm waiting for it to evaporate though because alcohol markers, like see that one? There's a line there. Alcohol markers are such a tease. They'll look so great and then they dry and you're like, ugh. <laughs> but so you're like, I thought I had this down, but hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I want to do one more green. So I need, I'm going to try one of these sagey ones. This would be pretty. Um, so I need, that one is olive. Oh, my chair is so awful. All right, let's make sure this is right. That is not olive. That is, no, this is dark. This is this one. It says olive on it. Wow, I am losing it. Okay, so it must be the other olive. Interest oh, dark green olive. Okay, I see where I went wrong. Green tomato. Let's see, so apple green, spring green, apple green, spring green, and then what comes after chartreuse or lime? Uh, apple green, spring green, lime, and chartreuse. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm so on the fence about my spending because one minute I'll say one thing and then I totally do something else. So let's, I'm just not going to make any promises right now. So this is green apple. Green bean. Let's see. And then I think this one will be next in line. So this one is spring. Not those do not look, that's not the color I wanted. Maybe it is when it dries, it looks totally different, but I want something in between. So I'm gonna keep with the green apple. And I'm going to add, let's make sure this color is right though. This one is chartreuse. Okay, I do want to keep that one. Wow. Oh, and then I have to spell a word that's so difficult. I'm sure I totally miswrote that, but whatever. All right, so we got our chartreuse. We got our green apple. Ooh, maybe I'll do... Let's see what comes after chartreuse, leaf green. Where are you? They do have a lot of greens in here. This one might be dark. This one will backfire. Should probably actually stick with the yellower one. Let's see. I would have thought it would take so much effort to pick a color. So I think spring green is a little more yellow. Yeah, okay. So cross that out. We'll do spring green and leaf green. So we'll get that one off there. Gosh, these things are such a weird labeling system. Oh, the Derwent drawing ones. I really want those too. Mm. There's way too many pencils I want. And yeah, not enough storage. All right, let's see about these. It's not really a yellow green, but I'm just gonna see if it'll go in there. And this is why Ryan needs to do a month of marker teaching. Move that out a little. Hmm. 
Melissa, my wish list never stops growing. Even when I'm like, I'm not buying anything else. Then I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. I need this stool and this stool. And then, yes, Ryan's tour totally screwed me. So screwed me. That's not bad a green. Not a bad green. Well, that one's a little harsh. But again, this is more olive-y. This is like green, yellow, green, yellow. And then that one was just wee -oo. All right. I'm going to do one more of the more pastelish colors because I want to play with these vintage -y ones. <laughs> Emma, my wish list might eventually tell me no more room. <laughs> Uh, oh, thanks, just laying Yeah, the purple actually held strong, so that was a freaking miracle, because I normally cannot blend a purple. Let's see. I'll do one of these antique -y ones, because they're so gorgeous. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, are we in the... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And... Three down. I think that's this color, which is cherry blossom. And I think I want that one might be too white, but we're gonna try it anyway. All right, let's see how these go. All right, so did I say rose shade was the darkest? That's my problem, Audrey. I have like zilch room right now. Zilch. 120. Cherry blossom. I'm so tired, I can't even write straight. All right, and then this is white gardenia. Definitely don't think that was the one I wanted to pull, but now it is. When it's dry, it looks like that. Why, oh why? And then I pulled that one. That one's just more pinkish. I think that's the problem. So you know we're gonna make it try and work. Why not? Let's see. Oh, hi, Beth. When did you pop in? <laughs> I might be single forever because of my supplies. <laughs> uh, goodness. All right, so let's get the caps off these. There's nothing worse than, like, you put the caps on and then you're rushing to pull your caps off again. It's like, this is kind of counterproductive. All right. I'm going to see if these will just blend dark to light because they're pretty pastel. Now this is like a purple pink going on, but whatever, we're gonna make it work. Kind of a hideous color when it's wet, that's for sure. Oh, I need my cherry blossom. Okay, what did I miss? Um, I don't really want to spend time with a man instead of my coloring. <laughs> Beth. <laughs> and then, let's see. The Derwent drawing pencils do look really, really nice. Those are next on my list. Well, everything's next on my list, so whatever. Um, and then... What did I miss here? Oh, just saying, yeah, that 
that one that was hitting on Ryan. It only took him like till the end of the stream to catch on that he was being hit on. I was dying. I screenshotted it and sent him all the screenshots. He was actually getting hit on by a woman too. It was kind of funny. Hmm. Okay. I think we've made enough little cute, cute little blends to show you that they do in fact blend. Uh, this one I could have just buffed out a little better, but... Did you see that too, Melissa? <laughs> I was freaking dying. I'm like, how is Ryan not seeing this? He kept getting asked if he was single. Um, he was like, mm. All right, guys. So, we have swatched 142 actual colors and two colorless blenders for Emma. They're very beautiful, Emma. I highly recommend these colorless ones. Look at that. I mean, just glorious. Um... And then, yeah, it's, I actually really like this color range. Um, one thing I definitely will say, like comparing this to the Artezas that I swatched, like what, two weeks ago? Um, my biggest pet peeve with the Artezas was that they didn't have a lot of the light tones, whereas Copic has those so that you can create like a really good blend. So this actually has a ton of these light tones. I mean, don't ask me what the heck this numbering system is, though. I need to look into that. But at least they're giving you the lighter ones, um, like a Copic would. And the nib on these really does feel a lot like a Copic. So, and the fact that I can replace these and refill them makes it pretty impressive. Now, I know open stock, though. Here's the one thing to note. So these have the same nib, these are refillable, but open stock on Blick, they are 367 a marker. But like my Copic sketch, I can buy open stock for just $4 from that one company. So, you know, the thing is though, you could easily supplement what you don't have here by just buying open stock sketches as well. And then you would save a ton of money buying this first because this is way cheaper. Oh my gosh, what are you guys talking about now? Yes, Crafton Mama, he had no idea he was getting hit on till like the end of his three hour stream. And so I sent him some screenshots. I'm like, dude, you're getting hit on so much. <laughs> it was hilarious. But, and then of course, you know, the infamous Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz pops in and he's just like down there doing his thing. And I'm like, Tim is here. But that's what we love. I realized the, the other day that I'm old enough to be Ryan's mom. <laughs> uh, you know, Ryan is notorious for not reading his chat, but I, I honestly think it's hilarious. But I totally get it at the same time because you either have to read your chat or like pay attention to what you're doing. And it's not always easy. Oh, it keeps blocking Beth's message. It, it blocked Beth for saying, Kelly, we can start the Man Haters Coloring Girls Club. Why did it block that? <laughs> Guess because you said Man Hater. Oh, Sherry. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not old enough to be Ryan's mom. I'm like his big sister who nags him, sends him messages to go to bed and pace himself, <laughs> which I'm sure he enjoys. <laughs> but... All right, guys, it is the two hour mark and I am exhausted, but, um, oh, Rebecca, what's the difference between Copic Sketch and Copic Chow? You know, uh, okay, so the Copic Sketch, really, it's just the size of the ink reservoir. reservoir. Uh, they both have the brush and chisel nib. The Copic Chow is round. Um, it does not have, oh, you know. You know what? Gosh darn it. Let me just grab two. Hang on. It is so much easier to just show you. Okay. So we have a Copic Chow here. It does have the chisel nib and the brush nib. But here's the thing. So your color code with a chow is here, and then your name is here. There's nothing on the cap. Now, with a sketch, oh my gosh, look how dirty that is. Ooh. 
Uh, the sketch has the name and number at the top. It's oval shaped too, so it doesn't roll away from you. So that makes it easier. However, it is the exact same ink, same type of nib. Um, I think the nibs are the same size. Oh, just don't judge how dirty they are. Yeah, so the nibs are the same size and they both are refillable, replaceable nibs. But the Copic Chow, oh my gosh, goodness. This Copic Chow does not hold as much ink as the Sketch. So that's really the only differences between the two. Um, but like if you're on a tighter budget, you could get the chow and you could always just get labels and put them on the, the side here. No, not the same amount of ink. The chow holds less ink in the reservoir. That's why you'll notice when you look at the um, refills online, They'll say, you know, a range of it can refill X number of markers because it depends on if it's a chow sketch or if you're doing the old school Copics. Um, so you have to keep that in mind. But yeah, they're they're pretty much the same other than the round barrel. This holds less ink and then you don't have the convenience of the number on your lid. But these are a lot cheaper. I did buy these with my last set. Uh, because on Blick these were cheaper, but now that I found that cozy scrapbooking that Erica linked earlier, I'm going back to just buying sketches because they're like four bucks a sketch from that website. So, because I really, I like the chow, but I actually don't like the round barrel. I actually like the oval that comes with a sketch. Um, these Blick ones are oval, but they're just kind of funky oval shaped. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that, but it it's interesting. But I mean, let's see how the nibs are in length, actually. Of course, I picked my dirtiest freaking sketch marker. So the nib, the nib on the Copic almost looks a little longer. Is this just me sleep deprived or does that nib look a little bigger on the Copic sketch? I mean, I could be sleep deprived, but I swear that sketch nib looks bigger. Let me see about the chisel. Yeah, it's longer on the Copic sketch. Uh, let me see. And they might have done that just so you can't go and buy one or the other, but now the chisel nib actually is a little longer on the Blick. But you know, the chisel nib, I don't like even use these <laughs> chisel nibs. So that's, I never, that's why this one's all clean. Mm. But yeah, I mean, so far playing around with these, these are definitely a lot more like the Copic sketch than the Arteza's I did a couple weeks ago. I will have my Arteza review out soon. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, there's not a lot of praise behind the Arteza markers. I feel like they, they really didn't think their colors through, whereas Blick has clearly thought their, cl their colors, their colors through. Um, so that's really important. And then the nib on this feels a lot more like a Copic than the Arteza one. Despite Arteza claiming they're the same nib, I still disagree, but I'm just one person, so who knows? Uh, Melissa needs to adopt a coloring crafty family because mine thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, I think we all have that problem, so just join join our club. Uh, yes, Luna, I, the chisel nib has its point. Like a lot of people use the chisel nib. Um, let me just grab some scratch paper. Like with the chisel, you know, you can do this, but you can also do the fine tip. I mean, see how fine I can do that with my um, pointy end of my chisel. So it does have its purpose. Um, that was the Blick one, the Copic one. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm almost out of ink on this one. Ah! All right, let me use the sketch or the chow because that was a bad example. All right, that one's got stuff in it. But, um, yeah, if you just use the pointy end and just very lightly, you can still make lines with the chisel. 
Corey is the sister I pick on. <laughs> and she's older, so she's the older sister that picks on me. I can't believe this is freaking... Oh, okay, so weird. My brush nib is full of ink, but my chisel is dead. You alright? Interesting. <laughs> Emma, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I think we did math this morning, and you only have like two years on me. So... And I had to actually break out the calculator, which was sad. But yeah, the, the chisel nib you can use for fine details. Yeah, we did do math. <laughs> and I was a year older than I thought, so I was like, oh, this is wrong. But, all right, guys. We are definitely... Uh, chisel is useful for large open spaces. Yeah, that's true, Ryan. My problem is, is the large open space, I, uh, I break out my oh hoo hoo and I just let that ink drain. So I, I don't use the Copic for the large spaces because I have all those cheaper markers that I'm like, whatever. But, all right, guys. I am definitely at the end today because I am so tired. <laughs> Brain not working. I'm surprised I was even able to answer a question, but... Yep, I do love these blicks. I'll be playing around with them and whatnot. Um, I, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Um, I wish I could take a nap. I'm actually not the napping type, so I'm kind of screwed. It's going to be a really long day. <laughs> but I am going to go sit in bed and just like color or something. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today on this wonderful Sunday. And I will catch you guys very soon. Um, so until then, take care.